Hi everyone, my name is Calvin De Silva and today I'll be teaching you how to make a self-grinding bow tie antenna with a Milo cat. When you're thinking about this project, you can't help but think about the story of the two antenna that fell in love and got married. Um, yeah, the ceremony wasn't all too cool or great, but the reception was excellent. The sizes of the drill bits are 2, 4 and 6 millimeters. The coaxial cable is an RG58 with an SMA female connector. To get started, use the metal shears to cut the Milo tin down the middle. Thereafter, cut the top and bottom reinforcing borders of the tin to allow for the complete flattening of the Milo tin itself. Due to the corrugated nature of the metal sheet we are using, it is increasingly difficult to get the sheet as flat as possible. Therefore, it is recommended to use a rolling pin to make this process easier. The following diagram must be designed to serve as a template for cutting out a pre-folded bow tie antenna from the metal sheet. It should be noted that the dimensions of the template can be scaled proportionally according to your individual requirements. The next step involves drilling holes into the cut out template so that the various portions of the RG58 coaxial cable can be thread through. Use the 6mm drill bit to drill a hole at the center point and the 4 and 2 millimeter drill bits to drill the holes that will be at the end points. At this point, the side having the 4 millimeter hole or the 2 millimeter hole does not matter. You are now ready to start bending your antenna template into the correct shape. The spines of the metal sheet make folding the antenna template into the correct shape increasingly difficult. Therefore, a vise should be used. A set of pliers should be used to bend the endpoint towards the center of the antenna such that the holes are lined up together vertically. Ensure that the vertical distance between the 6 mm hole and the 4 mm hole is approximately 1 cm. It is extremely important to ensure that the total shape of the antenna is as close to symmetrical as possible. Once you have fed the entire coaxial cable through the 5 mm hole, Strip away 4 cm of the black outer sheath from the end of the cable. Thereafter, twirl the exposed conductive braid into two strands and cut away any extra wiring to ensure that each strand is approximately 1 cm long. The inner plastic dielectric is then threaded through the 4 mm hole and the 1 cm strands of braiding are wrapped around the cable itself to ensure suitability for soldering. To make the soldering process easier, preheat the area that is to be soldered by directly applying the soldering iron to the surface for a few seconds. Strip away a portion of the plastic dielectric such that a length of 5 millimeters of it remains. The exposed inner conductor is then thread through the 2 millimeter hole. The 5 millimeter gap between the two holes is then secured through an additional soldering process. Lastly, any excess wire is trimmed off. The construction of the antenna is now complete, so let's see if this actually works. The signal strength of the bowtie antenna will be compared to that of the standard Wi-Fi dipole antenna. The signal strength ranges of each of the antennas are approximately the same. Therefore, we can say that our new antenna works.